In this experiment, we're going to measure and compare the reaction time of our right and left hand. Place our right hand on the bench. Hold our thumb and index finger such that they are four centimeters apart. Ask a classmate to hold the upper end of a ruler vertically with the zero mark between our thumb and index finger. Make sure that none of our fingers is touching the ruler. The classmate will drop the ruler without warning. We will try to catch it with our thumb and index finger as fast as we can. The distance that the ruler has dropped before we can catch it is 25 centimeters. This is our reaction distance. Repeat the steps two more times. The ruler should be dropped in the same way each time and the position of the thumb and index finger should be the same. Work out the average reaction distance of the three trials. Repeat the steps with our left hand. Find the reaction time of our right and left hands using the conversion graph of reaction distance and reaction time. From the graph, we can know that a greater reaction distance means a longer reaction time. This means the shorter the reaction time, the faster the response. Besides, the reaction time becomes shorter with practice. The reaction time of our right and left hands are not the same. It is because signals from the brain travel to a particular hand in a shorter time if the hand is used more often.